Hi there, it's Elina. Today I will share more about my caffeine detox. Now it's my third week without caffeine. In this video I will also teach you my favorite mobility exercises. Day 8 of my caffeine detox and today I'm taking a long walk in Nuuksio National Park in Finland. I love the beautiful scenery in Nuuksio and its fresh air. Nuuksio is relatively easy to reach from Helsinki. There are plenty of walking trails that are marked well, so you don't need any special hiking skills. Healthy and nourishing breakfast to keep me energized throughout the day. It's day 9 of my caffeine detox. And today I feel very energetic, despite the fact that I haven't consumed any caffeine for over a week. And the quality of my sleep is very good. Uh, so I am very excited to see what happens uh, in the near future. During my caffeine detox, I have treated decaf coffee a couple of times. And I have to say that it does taste almost exactly the same as regular coffee without giving me the same dopamine high and energy boost. And the taste is slightly thinner, even though I have to admit that I felt a tiny bit more energetic afterwards, but that must have been a placebo effect. All coffee starts as raw green coffee beans. Um, the coffee beans are then roasted to create coffee products. To create decaf coffee, the coffee beans must go through additional processing to remove caffeine from coffee beans. The main difference between decaf and regular coffee is that decaf coffee has had most of its caffeine removed, not all. The decaffeination process typically removes some of the rich aroma coffee would normally have, making the taste of decaf coffee slightly weaker. Yet both regular and decaf coffee provide some health protective antioxidants like polyphenols. We are at Lili Li restaurant in Helsinki. Finland. Finland. Can you pay with Bitcoin here? Mm, I don't think so. But we know another restaurant where you can. But maybe you can tell them. Mm. You should. Oh yeah, absolutely. Decaf coffee can be a great transitionary option for those who are trying to quit their old coffee habit or reduce their caffeine intake in general. It can also be an option for those who are very sensitive to caffeine, uh, for instance uh, people who struggle with anxiety or have sleep issues or those with other underlying health issues. Um, this is because caffeine is a central nervous system stimulant and even though it can make us feel more alert and energized, for some this can be a little bit too much and make their symptoms worse. However, there are some concerns related to decaf coffee. For instance, sometimes harmful chemicals are used in this decaffeination process to remove caffeine from coffee beans. Uh, sometimes, for instance, they use chemicals like uh, methylene chloride, which is very harmful and toxic uh, for our central nervous system. So if you prefer decaf coffee to regular coffee, I highly recommend paying attention to the met methods that they use and making sure it's water only method or the Swiss water method. Personally, I am not interested in buying decaf coffee to my home. I think organic tea can be a much healthier option. Now I have been over two weeks without caffeine and things are just getting better. I think the first week was definitely the worst. 
uh, I was constantly very tired, uninspired and didn't feel myself at all. Mm, but in my second week, things definitely got much better. Uh, I started to feel more alert and energized. Probably the best thing about this caffeine detox has been the fact that the quality of my sleep is now so much better. Um, I fall asleep uh, always, like almost immediately and waking up in the morning has become almost effortless. In the future, I think I will use caffeine only occasionally uh, to boost my performance. Because if you use constantly way too much caffeine on a daily basis, at some point you become so tolerant that you no longer get the benefits and you just use it to wake up and get through the day. And the other thing that worries me a little bit is that if you always consume way too much caffeine, it's going to affect your sleep. Um, the quality of sleep is very important for our brain health, brain health and to prevent all kinds of horrible diseases. Here are some of my favorite yoga-inspired mobility exercises for the spinal waves. Start from downward facing dog and with an inhalation, ripple forward like a cat. Exhale, gently glide back. Start your cat and cow pose from a tabletop position. Inhale, arch and open. Exhale, round. Thread the needle is a great stretch for your upper back and your shoulders. I usually like to do a couple of big circles before I do the stretch. So with an inhalation, open and reach and exhale, thread the arm through. Inhale, lift the right leg up to a three-legged dog. Exhale, pull knee to your nose. Inhale, send the right leg up and back. Exhale, pull knee to your nose and step forward, low lunge. From here, do a couple of big arm circles just to mobilize the shoulder area. So this is not the actual lizard pose yet. And then from there, for the lizard, have both arms inside the right leg. Stay on your palms or if you feel comfortable, lower down onto your forearms. Keep the shoulders off the ears. Pigeon is great for hip flexors. Have your front knee in a 90 degree angle and then have your hands wider than your mat and do a couple of lovely spinal waves. And if you like, you can also pause and lower down onto your forearms. And then return to your tabletop and do any free spinal movements such as circles or maybe you do your traditional cat and cow. Child's pose, toes together, knees apart, stretch the arms in front of you, lower the forehead to the mat and then from there walk your hands to the right and then through the center walk your hands to the left. My favorite puppy pose, have your hips above your knees, lower your chest and chin onto your mat and stretch your arms. So these were my updates so far. I will still continue uh, on this decaffeinated journey. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please remember to subscribe if you like my videos. Uh, I hope you will have a fantastic day. I will see you next time.